Oh shit, there's a fucking horde here! Run! To the fucking horde base! Just jump, just jump, just jump! Ah! Holy cow! Oh shit! Oh, my leg! Oh, this is not good! Oh, I sprained my leg! I'm just running, running, run, run, run! Blood shotgun hit! Ow! Oh shit! I fell through! Oh no! They're gonna kill me! No! No! Bandage! Bandage! Get on the freaking go-kart! Ah, run! Oh my god! This is really bad! There's fucking zombies everywhere! Oh man, this is like a legit horde. I need to just sit here and heal for a second. The bandages don't do squat. All right, you fuckers, you need to get the hell out of my base. Ah, okay, now I'm leaving again. I can just draw them off of the base a little bit. That would be best. Yep, yep, yep. That's good, that's good. Come over here. Oh my god, I can't believe I fell through the hole in my floor. Just like that. Close this freaking thing. Seal up that freaking hole. And now we can fight. Of course, now everyone's on slow speed, so they're not nearly as dangerous. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Well, at least, did you leave me anything good? Oh, probably not. Wow, what a friggin' dramatic mistake to leave that hole in the floor. I wasn't expecting to need the friggin' horde base for another four or five days. My goodness, good thing we had the friggin' go-kart. <laughs> I keep calling it the go-kart, it's the golf cart. <laughs> Good thing we had the golf cart. Also, it, it seems like some of the zombies wanted to go into the pit and beat their way through the pit to get to me down here, and that is moderately concerning. I don't want them to do that. I think we need to set up a system for them to voluntarily come down here to like a fighting position right here. I don't know, to be determined. Ultimately, I think the priority really is finding a place to start building the permanent base because living underground with big, big, dangerous, wandering hordes coming at night, probably not the best idea. Okay, we are infected. That means we need to take a honey, hopefully. From what I heard, it is not a guaranteed chance to cure the infection, so I guess we got to keep an eye on it now and make sure it starts to go down. I don't know, I put another splint on, and that seems to have helped my... Oh, that, that helped my sprained leg, actually, which is interesting. Oh, it does not heal broken bones, but it prevents them from getting worse. So I have 58... <laughs> my God, 58 hours. We're going to have to go see Svenja anyway today and see if she can sell me a cast. I'm just going to take a first aid kit, get some of my hit points back. Oh, geez, just, just take another one. Oh, infection's getting worse. Here, take an herbal antibiotic. That seems to have helped it. Oh boy. So I'm just uh, getting ready to craft some steel here and it looks like I need 20 forged steel, some, probably some more. No, I think I have all that stuff. So we should be able to get a nail gun here in the relatively near future. Oh, steel is, what's going on here? Steel crafting and hammer and, or, or hammer and forge. Oh, uh oh, hammer and forge is a part of the laborer class. So we're not taking that. It looks like alternatively you can take steel cra Oh, I have steel crafting. I just don't have it unlocked. I need weapon crafting two and tool crafting three and level 30. Am I level 30 yet? I'm level 29. I will need weapon crafting two and tool crafting three. Okay, so I need the one skill point I have I'll take into weapon crafting and my next skill point I'll take into tool crafting and then we'll be able to get some steel. For now, however, just gonna start, just put all my frames in there, whatever and get forged iron. We need to do some mining today, that is for sure. And my infection just finally cleared up, that's good. Okay, I've got everything I need for the cement mixer. And that is done over here. 
Okay, now let's do, let's do treasure maps today. I've been kind of itching to do this. I have like, I think I have two active. We'll look at the map real quick. Yes, I have Jennifer's treasure down there. We could probably swing by the chem station and we'll swing by, turn our quests in and get some medicine and we'll make a whole thing out of it. In fact, I will even bring some money with me and the sellables and just get that out of the way. Yeah, we are hurting on ammo right now. I have, I have less than 100 shotgun rounds, uh, or I have 102, I should say. Not doing too well on the pistol rounds. And, oh geez, yeah, I, I could probably buy some. It's pretty expensive, but I'm starting to kind of get an idea. That looks terrible. I need to fix that. I'm starting to get an idea of like what what the things are to look out for at the trader and what to buy. Ah, the gas recipe. If you ever watched the Frostbite series, had a wicked hard time finding that. Myself though, I'm not going to take it because I am I think I've decided I'm gonna go into the mechanic class. We got zombies out here or what? Oh my God, are you kidding me? Another one? Oh geez, with the sprained arm and the sprained leg. Uh, or the broken arm, I should say. Oh, Crap, what am I gonna do here? I might be able to just spread them thin. That's what I'm going for. Just spread them out, divide and conquer. Not fussing around with that guy though. Oh, now I'm hungry and thirsty. We'll have to swing back by home in a bit. I just need to see, that seemed very small to me. So I'm gonna check around the compound and see if some of them maybe wandered off somewhere else. Yeah, one here, woo, fast mover, crap. I got one more pizza over there. There we go. All right, that's it for that. Pray to the gods of seven days that Svenja has a cast for me. How may I serve you? Hello, Svenja. Bunch, oh, oh, I was gonna say a bunch of junk, but I will take those general schematics. Thank you. Do you have any other work? Opening trade routes tier one. Okay. Do you have any regular jobs? I'll take a lady killer Can for today. You? Check her inventory. Oh, yes. Plastic. Oh, they're so cheap. Give me all of them. You're welcome. Yeah, uh, hopefully I only need one. I mean, there we go. We're down to 19 minutes to heal the arm. All right, I guess while we're out and, you know, I'm hungry and thirsty, but going to the other trader won't make much of a difference. I wanna buy the nerdy glasses off of Wrecked over here. That not only will give us more XP and inevitably make the game more difficult for us in the long run, but it will really also decrease the crafting time, which is quite important with Darkness Falls because everything takes forever to craft. Can I help you? Oh, hello, hello. Another 10 general schematics. I'll take it. Does she have any jobs? I will take the the cable guy Can job, I, I guess. You? I don't know. Oh, he's going to teach me some stuff now. You teach me any recipes. Okay, some cooking recipes. Don't think I need that. Better crafting. Uh, armor crafting one or basic farming. Honestly, I think I have... I'm good on that stuff. Check his inventory immediately. Just give me the nerdy glasses and then sell him everything that I don't need here. Okay, that is it. Oh, that bandolier mod. I just gotta check. I don't have that, do I? No, I don't. And I would suspect, unless that's changed, that is a very important mod to have. Yes, reload 15% faster. It does not stack. Can be installed on chest right, or legs. Pop business. that on my chest and we're pretty much broke again. Let's go actually put the, uh, no, I will, s I'm gonna have to manage three sets of glasses. Oh my God. That is the way of things. I like the agility goggles just for general movement. Oh boy, zombies messing up the doors here. Oh, well, might as well get my nerdy glasses on for this. Agility goggles back on. <laughs> God, this is gonna be ridiculous. Okay, I'm fed and hydrated. We're off to dig up some treasure and I need to mine some iron and maybe even other resources like lead and stuff. So we'll be on the lookout for stuff like that. Okay, here we are at the first treasure map and we are also here at the border to the wasteland. I don't think I wanna particularly get too close because I know some very, very dangerous things that were kinda not equipped to fight are gonna be in there. Oh boy, now we got an airdrop. Probably gonna drop into the wasteland, I would guess. 
I don't see it. Crap. Oh, there it is. All right, we're going to test out the thing. So it's going to be about 700 meters that way. Okay, I just put a marker out 700 meters. We're going to go check that after we dig up this treasure. Oh, there's uh, stuff for us to mine too. I don't know what that is quite yet. Let's check and see. Oh, this is iron. There's a buried treasure in a friggin' iron node. All right, this is going to take a while with the still broken arm, but luckily you guys don't have to watch any of it. Now, interestingly, you can kind of just squeeze yourself into this one meter high gap and you can glitch through the wall and find the treasure much more easily this way. Some people might call this cheating and those people would be absolutely correct. Does it make any difference to me? No, not really. Lucky goggles. Wow. Okay, just some precious minerals in that one. Ten diamonds. Wow. Just going to grab a little bit of iron while I'm right here. All right, enough of this death trap. On to the next one. So I came out here for the airdrop, and I would suspect that it is in the drink out there. So that one might just be lost forever. Yep, and that's like Wasteland coastline up ahead. All right, well, I'll snake down the coastline here and see if I can see it. But otherwise, we're going to have to move on to the next treasure map. Just rolling up here for a quick Svenja quest and some quick breakfast here. Good, let's hit it. We got one minute left on my broken arm. I'm keeping a close eye on that. Oh boy. That's it. Buddha. While we're going right through, I'll knock out this cable guy challenge right here. And the arm is healed for this one. This is just a random cable guy here. A bee! Crap! Not interested in that guy. It's a pretty rugged terrain out here, but we've made it to the next treasure map. E-break on. Clear the area. Start digging. Yep, outside the boundary zone, as usual. Had to repair my crowbar, so we lost five levels on it. Lucky goggles. More gems and a little bit of ammo. That, that one actually not nearly as good as the last. Oh damn, got rainy and, and dark. Aha, more meat. All right, we're not done yet. We're not even halfway done yet. Ooh, a wolf over there. I'm gonna see if I can roadkill the wolf. It would be worth the 10% or 12% damage if I could. Uh, I think I've wounded him. Yeah, got him. All right, I brought my repair kits. It's only one repair kit to to fix this. Not a big deal. Who needs hunting? Oh, I, I could try the bear. I'm inclined to not try that though. <laughs> yeah, who needs hunting perks when you get a golf cart? Yes, yeah, so people have been saying in the comments that I should craft a watch and I would like to do that, of course. I wonder if you can find one in loot. That would be nice or buy one at the trader, but you can't craft it unless you go into the scavenger or, or survivalist maybe class. It's one of the classes. It's like a class perk. All right, here we are. Oh, look at this. I'm pretty sure I can just glitch through the wall and open it from here. Hey, whatever works, right? Couple grenades, rockets, more gold and stuff. What's with the arrows? I need shotgun rounds. Okay, getting relatively late in the day. I think we have two more though. Just gonna swing by here with Svenja, turn the quest in and just check on the time as well very quickly. 20, okay. So we have like two hours left to get the last two treasure maps. Probably not gonna happen. How may I serve you? Okay, more general schematics or I'll take the general schematics. So we'll worry about the ammo crisis later. This treasure appears to be in a less than ideal location. And we've got a fast mover here. Two of them, is it nightfall or what? No, just a bunch of pharaohs hanging out here. All right, it's gonna take nightfall while we're doing this. So we gotta be quick about it. All right, I see this one. It's kind of right over here, of course, outside the boundary. Aha, found it, quickly. Oh, there, oh, the fucking bandolier mod, damn it. Ah, whatever, take it. Fucking seven days, man, that's always how it works. The second you friggin' get what you want, you find it in the wild. What's in here, another bandolier mod? Wow, 44 shotgun rounds, I'd say I'll take that. I just got a glimpse here of some tires. Oh, zombie. 
Feral zombie, holy shit. Out of stamina. How about a battle axe to the face? Oh, that didn't work. Wow. Just wanted to harvest up this polymer. We're gonna need it to make shotgun rounds. We also need to keep an eye out for paper. Some of these resources are becoming critical. There's paper and polymer in those, so boxes. We really need to just take down every box we see from now on. Every box is like one to two shotgun rounds. So I do have the one remaining treasure map here, and that's in the same fucking hole? Are you kidding me? And it's nightfall. It's gonna be the same friggin' treasure box. Okay, <laughs> just keep an eye out. Put the turret down. Here, you cover the eastern flank. I'll keep an eye on the west, and we will just hop down in here and get this box again. Are you kidding me? That's a thing. It's locked again. <laughs> Whatever. Come on, just a little bit more. We're in. A tactical rigging. Oh, that's good stuff. Run! Ow! Ow! Just run. Just run. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Get the fuck out of here. Oh damn, five treasure boxes in one day. And we got two quests for Svenja out of the way. That'll be good, I'm gonna go stash. Those freaking rads are just chasing me down. Oh geez. Oh, free bag here. Gimme, 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 and run. A Little bit of brass, mechanical parts, no big deal. Okay, we gotta get our stuff put away and sort of get reset for tomorrow. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you slept well. I'm just looking here at the nail gun. I'm almost ready to get it crafted. So overnight, I've just been kind of working around the shop here. I did end up taking that skill point into tool crafting to get level three, and therefore that unlocked steel crafting, which means I'm able to now craft steel out of the big forge. So I'm getting all of that that I possibly can. So just continue working on that. I need now three more before I can get the nail gun crafted. But here I have two extra forges and a cement mixer. And there should be yet another cement mixer, not in there, in here. So we have the industry rolling. I'm gonna put the cement mixers right here. Kind of save in that spot over there for like, I don't know, some unforeseeable new piece of machinery that I don't know exists quite yet. And in terms of the forges, I'm just gonna squish them in here. I know it doesn't look great, but again, this probably is a temporary type of base. But anyway, I do have some stuff I can put into these. And therefore, this can be like the cement forge, this one can be like the bullet forge, and this one can be the steel forge. So let's get things rolling there. So I'm using the sticks now for fuel because I don't think there's much else to use sticks for. Let's just get all the bullet casings I can- Oh my god, that takes forever even with the nerdy glasses on. That's gonna take days. Like three of them, to be exact. For 438 rounds? I think that's fairly ridiculous, actually. I mean, we can get started on it. I don't even have enough wood to fuel the forge for that line. Yes, I do. I'm- This is definitely going to call in a screamer. I have that forge there just going to get some jars, just, you know, little extra odds and ends. I was hoping to get a little bit of cement production out of this one. Okay, so today we're gonna need <laughs> wood. How do I make the forges go? Do I need like, is there something special that I need to learn? And is there a skill? I did read a book that was like something about reloading. It was reloading weekly was the name of it. What does that do? Reloading weekly. This just unlocks certain bullet types. It doesn't actually affect crafting. So what what is affecting the speed of ammo crafting? I don't know. I, I really can't see anything that has to do with ammo. Please let me know. It, you know, what's the secret here for ammo crafting? Is there like a special bench or something that makes it faster? Because that's ridiculous. That's just to make the casings, let alone to make the tips or to make the ammo itself. I mean, am I supposed to have like 10 forges going? Is that is that the meta? Is that how it works? Because if so, that I mean, that, I, th I find that very excessive. Anyway, enough railing on <laughs> my lack of knowledge to do with this mod. Uh, if you look closely here, I do have this tactical rigging and a bunch of other mods. I kind of wanted to wait and throw those on together with you. So let's see, we have three rows and then three remaining in the last row and this tactical thing will give us 
plus 10. Wow. So yes, now we have four full rows and then five remaining in the fourth row. Perfect. And I suppose I can just throw this uh, bandolier mod or, or sell it. I, I mean, I don't I don't want to throw it onto a piece of armor. I hear that selling them separately in Darkness Falls is the way to go. Anyway, should have plenty for the nail gun now. Four minutes and 15 seconds on that. I don't have time for that. Give me my freshest looking hammer here. And I think what I want to do is just pound this door out here. And put one of these new iron doors in that I found the other day. Perfect. No need to upgrade it, at least not yet. I'll also upgrade this door to iron. I'll put another door here made out of iron. And then on Horde Knight, if by some stupid chance that I am incorrect in assuming that this will block the zombies or that having this open staircase right here, if this doesn't work and they end up wanting to go down there, hopefully we'll barricade them and it'll take them too long to do it and they'll kind of like recalculate their pathing after that. We'll need to upgrade this one later on. I need to get some lead so I can start making buckshot so that I can start making shotgun ammo. Damn, I'm, I'm actually, I'm already feeling the pressure for the next horde because I know we're going to need more bullets and um, I'm not quite sure how to get them. All right, let's get the hell out of here before a screamer shows up. Okay, let's have a look at the map then. So uh, Svenja gave me, oh, an opening trade routes and there it is right there. The, oh, there's a trader right in the middle of town? That is interesting. We've also got a couple of tier two fetch and clears. So that's what I want to focus on today is looting. One of the ways we can get ammo is just, you know, finding it in the wild. And we haven't been focusing on that for a couple of days because of the horde base and other things going on. But all of that is good to go now. The crafting has been ramped up to the max. Feeling really good about all the cool stuff that we have. We even have a nail gun, or at least we will soon. So let's go open the trade routes and then we'll go um, knock out some of those quests. That appears to be the place right there. We'll just check the mail here. I do need the paper. I have been neglecting to take that with me, but we're gonna definitely need it for shotgun ammo crafting, I would think. So here we are, this is interesting. This must be a custom trader here. I think this is part of the Darkness Falls storyline, if I'm correct. Oh wow, a bunch of workbenches here. Ooh, working workbenches. Got a working metal station, what is this? Is this workable? It is. This is a, what is this? A mechanics workstation. It's, oh, you can make all the vehicles here. Damn, I can't, I could make the vehicle, but I can't actually make the parts it looks like. We'll need more points into like uh, Grease Monkey or whatever it is. Which come to think of it, I think that will be the next class that I take, the mechanic class, because whoops. Because if I have a look here at the skill tree, if I go into mechanics, I can get Grease Monkey and make the better vehicles and I can get the robotics inventor. Because look here, if you get level four, you can have two robots active and at level five, you can have three robots active. And not to mention, you know, they can hold more, they shoot faster, you reload faster, and presumably you'd be able to craft your own mechanics workstation. This is a big, big workstation too. Looks like probably three by three. It would fit perfectly in that little cubby that we have. Oh my God, freaking zombies everywhere though. What? Oh my God, what are you guys doing? I'm gonna do a little bit of custom remodeling here on this POI because we need it. Ooh, what is this? Is it a little garden up here? Oh, this is like an irrigated garden. Oh, I bet there's water up there too. Oh, these are harvestable. Nice. Oh, wheat. Wheat. I need wheat. Wheat is for making bread, I think. Give me that. Ooh, it's giving me four. Oh, I'll be able to make my own wheat seeds. I don't have any pumpkins. I'll take the pumpkins as well. Aloe vera plant. I'll take those. Make some aloe vera seeds, maybe. I'll just take everything. Everything. 
Nice, and it's all gonna regrow too. We can go get it again later. All right, who lives here? Svenja, are you here? What time is it? 9.24, who's in here? Ooh, wow, stuff to loot. Oh, ammo. Okay, lucky goggles. Oh, oh, I'm falling through the world. Not good. Wow, it's a trap. I think I just pulled some mods out of that. That was kind of cool. Weighted head. I don't think I can put that on the baseball bat just yet. Put it onto the steel knucks instead. Oh, and that structural brace mod, that'll go very well onto the crowbar to prevent it from breaking. Oh, milit I see I'm finding military armor. The the day or day or two after I friggin' spent all that money on it. Ooh, what is this? A working wall oven? We have these on the GNS multiplayer server. <laughs> it's cool to see them in the wild though. So that must make cooking faster. Maybe I'll be able to craft my own someday. All right, so who lives here? Oh, oh, hello, sir. Who are you? Razor. Hello, Razor. It's a pleasure to meet you, my friend. Ooh, speaking of ammo, let's take that shotgun shell since we're specced into it. That's gonna do the most damage, most bang for our buck. Any jobs? Quest, retrieve some supplies. Okay. Uh, wait, that's a treasure map. It says locate treasure, buried supplies. In the ocean? Are you kidding me? That cannot be how this is supposed to work. You son of a bitch. What are you gonna do about it, huh? What are you gonna do about it? You gonna send me in the ocean? I could die out there, you son of a bitch. This guy, this guy. I thought he was a friend. Look at this fancy big forge. Stupid forge. Stupid chair. Stupid curtains. I hate this guy. You know, presumably I could cancel the quest and fail it. But, um... I don't know. I don't know. I gotta think about this. We wouldn't be able to take a new quest until tomorrow, which really would be fine. I don't know if that's like the intended mechanic that you're supposed to go out into the ocean, but presumably not because the game is just so terrible in the ocean and I see an ATM machine. Gimme. Money. All right, let's stick to the plan today. We'll knock out the tier two fetch or fetch and clear or whatever quests that we have. Totally gummed up on the inventory as well. Here, put everything away. All right, we got a fetch right up here, right down the street actually. Okay, here we are, not too far away. Check the mail, hit the quest, check the mail, nothing. All right, who's in here? Basically, I'm taking everything with me today. Hello. You know what? I totally remember this place. In my series called The Last Act, which was the final series that I did in Alpha 19, I died in here because a bear got in here with me and I got trapped and um, I died. I think right about, where was it? I died right about here. <laughs> Good times. Ah, thanks friends for opening this up for me. Very convenient. Another treasure map, just read it. Get that a little later. Got the satchel. Ah, hello there, friend. Maybe try to go for the knife kill on him. Oh, got 2x sneak damage, not too bad, and he's bleeding out. There we go. That is the quest. Oh, okay. Aha, wooden bow. Another reloading weekly book. Very nice. Read that. Read the leather armor schematic. Take the rest. Another crucible. Wow. I guess the crucible probably isn't quite as rare as it is in vanilla. It's fine with me. Ooh, 
combat shotgun receiver? I didn't even know there was a combat shotgun. Good, good. All right, had enough of this place. Let's get out of here. Uh-oh, that would be a trap right there. Get out of the way! I'm leaving! Ow! Ooh, a cow! Oh, this is this is my chance right here. I gotta see if I can kill it. Although it's uh, from what I hear, cows are hostile. There's like a big red cow as well, and the big red cow is uh, f like has a ton of meat, but he's very very dangerous. I think this is like a more docile female cow. Ooh, 250 hit points doesn't seem like that bad. They are hostile though. There we go. How much meat you gonna give me? Just 10. Okay. No, not not great. All right, the inventory is bogged down and the battle axe is broken. So I'm going to take a pit stop back at the base and then we'll pick it up for the next one. Okay, here we are. Got a rat out front too that I saw. Where's he at? Oh, rat soldier. Jeez. Take him out. Oh, he's regenerating that son of a bitch. Stop doing that. Some people just never learn. Ooh, that's not the weapon I was looking for. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, let's hit it. Hmm. I don't know that I recognize this one. I guess we're going into... Well, I'll check the garage real quick. Never hurts to just get this out of the way. Working? Working. Interesting. I'll still take it apart, though. Another die set? I think it's worth my time maybe to just break the boxes once I'm done with them. I mean, I don't have loot respawn on and I never do. So, you know, kind of whatever. Okay, we'll go in the proper way now. Whoa, fast mover. Open the door, spec in the face, close the door trick. Too easy. All kinds of stuff down here. Lots of barrels too, holy cow. Same trick. Different zombie. Can't deny it, but it really slows you down to have to harvest all this stuff. These little valves here give you a little bit of brass. We need basically every little bit that we can get, I think. I'll even take the torch. Oh! How dare you just spawn in like that, trying to scare me. Not cool, man. Oh, this is the door to the back. I don't want to leave yet. I suspect a zombie in there. Nope. They're hiding elsewhere today. Vampire. Why is the vampire always with this guy? This zombie researcher. Uh-oh. This guy's dangerous here. Feral zombie skateboarder. They're kind of bad enough when they're not feral. Yeah, if I'm getting like all kinds of ferals in the wild now, I can't imagine what the next horde is going to be like. I mean, I can definitely imagine, but uh, it's going to be surprising still. Oh, I can see some radiation smoke coming through the ceiling here. Can I get a sneak attack? Oh, I woke them all up. Oh well, just go in here and kill them. Oh, that was the quest right there. We just gotta find the supply. Nothing great. Advanced cooling mesh, not terrible. At least if we go to the desert biome. And here we are. Another tanning rack. What do we got here? Auto rifle stock, a new AK, another treasure map, iron nux schematic, and I'll take the rest. Okay, that is it. Let's just have a look. I'm curious to see how much polymer. I got 67 polymer and 93 paper, so that's good for 67 shotgun rounds if we were to convert that all over. A little bit more right here. And I didn't even use a single bullet, so that helps. 
Okay, the thing to do now would be to go collect our rewards and then probably head back and call it a night. Maybe do some work on the horde base, just getting things like repaired and upgraded. Oh, but there was the issue of mining and here I am at the mine. So with whatever time we have left in the day, I am going to just get whatever iron and stone that I possibly can. Go-karts rolling off into the drink. No, 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 no. This thing is slippery, isn't it? Well, that's it. We need repairs. Okay, reward number one. Here's your pay for a job well done. Shotgun shells. New quest. Oh, into the tier threes now. Let's go west. Looking to earn some dukes? Hardware oh, store. I know where that is. That's the one we just did the other day. Just have to speed run it. How may I serve you? Reward number two. Molotovs. New job. She's giving me tier threes as well. Well, let's do something easy, like the nurse you Can back to health. You? Nurses are kind of easy. They're probably going to be like 25 of them. This Reward number three. I'm going to again there. go with Molotovs. We could take the skill notes, but three seems like... I mean, that's only one schematic that I need to scrap to get three. Whereas the Molotovs, that's like a lot of work between the grain alcohol and uh, whatever else goes into it. I don't Can know, I whatever. So, Oh, I don't even have a job from her, so I'll take the man eater from her. And forgot to get one from him as well. We'll take anything to the west. Southwest fetch and clear at the house modern number five. I'll take it. And with that, it is almost nightfall. Oh shit, lots of zombies. They're running really fast. I can't move. Get in the bike. Ah, holy shit. Not a horde, just woke a bunch of people up chopping wood. Arlene is just all over me whenever I'm getting wood. Okay, so here we are. Let's dump everything in here. And that is a look at the haul for today. I don't even know where to begin. That is a lot of crap to go through. So I think for tonight, I'm just going to come in here and repair some of the walls and do some basic upgrades. Maybe get the ramp uh, finished up again. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. I'll be back again soon for the next episode, and I hope that you'll join me again. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today, and good night. While you're waiting for the next video, check out the links below for more content, ways to support the channel, and ways to become a true nerd of steel. You can catch me on the Discord, Twitter, at the weekly live stream, or in the comment section down below. Huge thank you to all of my supporters who have made this channel what it is today. My name is Temreki, and I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I'll see you in the next one.